In this video, we're going to take a look at solving an absolute value inequality. This inequality, the absolute value of 4x minus 5, is greater than 6, or equal to 6. Emphasis on greater, because the type of inequality tells us the type of compound inequality we're going to have to set up in order to solve this problem. If it were less than 6, we would set up a tripartite inequality. But because we're greater, we're going to set up an OR inequality. We do this by taking what is inside the absolute value, the 4x minus 5, and making it less than or equal to negative 6, the negative of the number, or the 4x minus 5 would be greater than or equal to the positive number, less than the negative, or greater than the positive. Now we simply have to solve this compound inequality like we've solved any other compound inequality. We can do this by adding 5 to both sides, giving us 4x is less than or equal to negative 1, and finally dividing by 4, which will give us x is less than or equal to negative 1 fourth. Or, on the right half of this compound inequality, we can add 5 to both sides, giving us 4x is greater than or equal to 11, and finally dividing by 4, giving us x is greater than or equal to 11 fourths. We have now solved this compound inequality, and we're ready to graph it or draw a picture of the solutions. With absolute value, we know we're either going to be between the two numbers that we found, negative 1 fourth and 11 fourths, with open circles, or we're going to be outside of them. With an OR, we're going to be outside of them. If it were a tripartite, from a less than, we would be inside. But because this was greater, we're going to go out to infinity. Again, we can represent this graph with interval notation. Going all the way down to negative infinity, because we go left to right, up to negative 1 fourth, with curved brackets matching the problem. Also, infinity always gets in curved bracket. A union symbol with a curved bracket, 11 fourths to infinity. This tells us that any values we pick that are smaller than negative 1 fourth or larger than positive 11 fourths and plug them into this inequality, we will end up with an absolute value that is greater than or equal to, oops, or equal to, what did I do wrong? If it's or equal to, we need to have closed dots. Sorry about that. Or equal to should always have a closed dot, which means our brackets should actually be square brackets, not curved, at negative 1 fourth and 11 fourths. Inclusive, because it's or equal to greater than or equal to 6.